Hey everyone, it's Michael Dugo with Remax Premier. I'm here just hanging out with my sold sign, right? Um, I wanted to talk a little bit about the market. For uh, Most of you have probably heard that the market has improved, and it has. The biggest difference really just seems to be the days on market. Price-wise, I would say over the past six months for most areas and styles of homes, it seems like the average price has improved by 4 to 5%. However, as I mentioned, the days on market is really really different right now the average home i'm finding is selling in about three weeks i've had properties that were on the market um they were listed throughout november december january february and end of february beginning of march they just sold but not only did they sell but they got prices that were were great i mean the sellers were surprised other agents were surprised so that's really fascinating. During March break, obviously things were a little bit slow as they usually are, and it's just overall been a really bad winter. However, again, there are homes selling, but I've lived in this country my whole life, and this winter was really, really bad. It was very, very cold, especially with the wind chill. However, again, buyers were out there looking, which is just, uh, you know, which is something to be noted. People do need to buy homes. So it, it brings up the interesting question of, should you really list your home based on like the optimal time in terms of the weather conditions or is it supply and demand? And I would say it is supply and demand. What you'll notice is right now, there's still very few homes on the market in most areas. And many sellers, they have the idea that they should wait until the weather gets warmer. However, if everybody thinks that likely supply is just going to go up so significantly that it may not get the price that they're looking for, because because we're always paying attention to that number of the number of, of new listings versus sales each month. I would say the slowest areas right now are in the York region, particularly the old properties that are listed over 1.5 million. So that's Vaughan, that's Markham, and that's Richmond Hill. In Toronto, when you go south, so your areas like High Park and your areas like um, the beaches, the market is very, very strong. That's that's regardless of the price. Properties that are two to three million dollars are selling very quickly as well. At this point in time, a lot of people, um, sellers are interviewing agents. So if it's helpful, I have a list of 10 interview questions that you can ask the agent just to make sure that you are very confident with that decision. When you hire an agent, it's obviously a very, very important choice. It's something that you're going to essentially be binded up with for a couple months at least. So you don't want to be sticking with the wrong agent for an extended period of time if your home is not selling. Like the challenge is that uh, the market's changed, but really most agents haven't. Again, I have that list of 10 interview questions, which could be helpful. And as well, I wanted to talk a little bit about commission. We're finding that a very common question is from sellers. Um, they will make the request that they um, want a reduced commission in the event that the buyer is represented by the listing agent. And on the surface, it makes sense. And sure, there can be some compromise. Although what many sellers may not believe is that when we sell our own listing to the other buyer, very often the other buyer asks us to sell their home for free, like no commission. And um, I mean, it just happens. Buyers will call and say, Mike, if I buy that house, you're gonna be making the commission. Will you sell my house for free? When you stop and think about it, the listing agent asks, actually has double the amount of work, representing both people's interests to some extent, right? For me, if I'm a listing agent, it's a lot easier if another agent just comes with the offer. Um, it's a very straightforward process, right? In terms of commission, it, it's again, it's, it's one of those things that's like a gray area. Although when you stop and think about it, if a reduced rate really made sense in terms of the seller's best interest, then every seller would go with the cheapest rate possible. So find the value out there with the agent. Um, a great question to ask agents before you list your property is what is your list to sales price ratio? So for your listings on average, are they selling at 98% of asking? Are they, sell are they selling at 96% of asking? That could really give you a good indicator because our job is to negotiate for our seller's best interest to get them the highest price possible. I would say if you're going to list your home, do it in the next three to four weeks or just wait until next year because it's that time of the year people buy because of the school year. Hope this was helpful, guys. Um, as always, if you're considering selling your home, call me for a quick interview. Um, 
can give you an idea as to how much your home is worth and what I would do different from the other agents. I'm very confident I can get the job done. So call me, call me, call me. 416-671-5218. And should you have any questions, I'd love to hear about it. I love feedback, so leave your comments below. Don't forget to click subscribe on YouTube if you want to see more. And if you could think of anyone else that may find this information helpful, just forward the link over to them and I'll look forward to seeing you all next time. Oh, 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 oh,